Hey guys, welcome. This reading is going to be for all of my Cancer, Sun, Moon, and or Rising signs. This is going to be your love messages for the week, okay? Um, this week being July 12th through July 18th, okay? So um, let's go ahead and see what we have going on for the Cancers as it pertains to love, of course, okay? Okay, first of all, you have ego. Okay. Forgiveness. And codependency. Okay, Cancers. So, um, immediately I'm feeling like there could be some ego, um, some ego trips going on here, some power trips, okay? So, um, Cancer, you may be failing to be able to see the other person's side or the other side of the coin because you are a little bit blinded by your ego. Your ego may be taking uh, the front seat in the situation and really trying to be in control of everything that's going on, everything that's happening in order to make you feel more comfortable or to make you feel more like, you know you have the upper hand and you know what needs to be done you know what needs to be going on and you're absolutely right in your reasoning and the other person is absolutely wrong and they have no um standing on anything that they say or do um so there may be a lot of ego involved here so there could be a need to check yourself this week cancer check your ego and you know figure out where you know, your ego is flared up. Figure out where, you know, you're trying to control things or you're trying to manipulate things or you're trying to, um, where you could just be being super dismissive of the other person's feelings, the other, in, you know, not have any compassion for this person or be empathetic to this person. You know, you could be failing to see what your actions are contributing to the situation in the disconnect because there is a disconnect here with someone um there's a need for you to forgive this person you know or you could be forgiving this person this person could be forgiving you this week cancer um maybe some things were said that were just out of pocket you know it could be rude you know, it could have been unnecessary things have been said. And so um, there's a situation where you guys need to forgive each other and see if you can move forward. Um, but coming into that situation, Cancer, there's a need to understand that everything is not all the other person's fault. That you are contributing on big levels here. There's a certain behavior or a certain pattern of yours that you really need to tap into this week, Cancer, because it's really going to be of poor detriment to you if you don't figure out what it is and what's going on really soon. So um, if you could do that, that would be great. You will have forward movement in this situation, okay? And, and I know it can be hard to, you know, admit when you're wrong or come back and apologize when you've done some someone wrong. But it really does feel much more rewarding after you've done it. You know, before you do it, there is that battling your ego to try to, you know, get yourself to open up, be vulnerable and be receptive to, you know, um, hashing out the situation. That part is hard, but after it's done, you feel really good about it and you feel very rewarded and you and the person can refresh the connection. Okay, so a lot of these issues that you are having with this person is due to um, you guys may be codependent of each other, or this could be just a codependency issue with you. So you are depending on this person in a way where it's unhealthy, where it's like, well, if this person doesn't do this, then I can't do this. So it's like, one can't exist without the other. So if one person isn't behaving in one way, then the other person feels like then they can't behave in one way. So um, 
you need to check your ego this week there needs to be a glance at some of your behavioral patterns and some of you know your thought patterns and your belief systems that needs to be you know you need to go over that and you know just check yourself there's a lot of needing to check yourself this week in love cancer okay um and there's a lot of codependency issues here that you need to check so how are you depending upon others in what ways can you replace other people in your life with yourself that that is things that you need to really focus on so in any way if someone is supporting you in some kind of way in which ways are you giving away your power cancer that's the real question in which ways are you giving away your power when it comes to love okay keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations but i definitely feel like that card is telling you to keep an open mind because you might be very closed off and just feel like no 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 i'm right i'm right i'm right they're wrong they're wrong they're wrong i don't want to hear anything else i'm not listening i'm not gonna do this i'm not hearing it i'm closed i'm shut down and it's like no cancer you need to stop and you need to listen you need to hear the other side you need to put your ego aside and you need to listen okay religious factors so you know, this can be an instance where, you know, you really feel like um, your, I feel like your ego could be clouding your intuition. So it's like, you feel like you know certain things, but there's ego involved. So it's not all the way 100% true. It's not all the way 100% clear what you feel like you're seeing. You know, you're seeing it from a biased standpoint. Okay, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So whatever is going on in this situation, you probably just feel like, and this is your ego speaking once again, because you probably just feel like, oh no, the things that have, have occurred, there's no way that we could come back from this. This is over. I can't do it. You know, it's just, we just need to bury it at this point. Like, let's just let it go. But really it's like, that's your ego fighting you because it's like, you would rather dead and bury the situation then admit that you're wrong and apologize and that's really what's going on here cancer that's the battle that you're having this week is like put your ego aside admit when you're wrong it's okay it's okay to see the other person's side it's okay to um acknowledge their feelings and you know they're, they are valid. The other person's feelings are valid, Cancer. And it's very important for you to show them that, okay? So that's what I have for you, Cancers. I hope that this resonates with you. Make sure to give this a like and a share and drop a comment and let me know what you guys think. And I'll talk to you guys next week.